Today we are going to look at understanding minimum, maximum, range, mode, median, and mean. These methods are typically used to help organize a series of data to make sense of a collection of numbers. To help us understand, let's begin by using the following set of data. 6, 18, 6, 14, 19, 13, 18, and 18. Now that we have our numbers, let's begin. The first thing I like to do is put these numbers in order from least to greatest. That way it will be easier to find certain numbers later on. So, we have 6, 6, 13, 14, 18, 18, 18, and 19. With our numbers in order, let's look for the smallest one, also known as the minimum number. In this case, it is 6. So the minimum is 6. Maximum is the largest number in the series, which in this case is 19. Now range is defined as the difference between the largest number and the smallest number. So we subtract 6, the smallest number, from 19, the biggest number, and we get a range of 13. Now let's look at mode. Mode is the number in the series that occurs most often. Because we put our numbers in order, we can easily see that the number 18 shows up more than any other number. So 18 is our mode. The median is the middle value. To find it, let's start by crossing out numbers on the outside and then we'll work our way towards the middle. We cross out 6, then 19 from the right side. 6, 18, 13, and then 18. We are left with 14 and 18 in the middle. So, we ask ourselves, what number is in between 14 and 18? The answer is 16. Therefore, the median is 16, the middle value. Lastly, we will look at how to find mean. Now mean is the average of all the numbers together. To find it, we add up all the data and then divide by the total number of all in the series. In this case, there are eight numbers. When we add up all this data, we get 112. So we divide that by eight, which makes the mean 14. And that is how you understand minimum, maximum, range, mode, median, and mean.